I had been through Tacoa, Georgia, multiple, multiple times without ever stopping anywhere but maybe at McDonald's. I had been by Lake Tacoa over and over, and I finally, this time through Tacoa, decided to stop. I saw the path around Lake Tacoa, so I decided that this would be a good walk since I had skipped Helen because I just didn't think I wanted to do the commercial walk through Helen. This lake was beautiful. It has um, white ducks and dark colored ducks out on the lake. There's a golf course, a beautiful golf course behind the lake. And it was just a really nice walk. I was laughing and talking with people around the lake about the difference in walking around this lake and hiking to the waterfalls. It was a struggle hiking uphill the other day. And a flat walk like this, it's just, you can just get out there and enjoy it and meander around around it. And I just enjoyed the walk around Lake Tacoa. I had come back through Tacoa to go to the waterfalls at Tacoa. I couldn't believe I had never been to Tacoa Falls. And I realized that unless I had researched it, I wouldn't have seen a sign for it because the falls is on the campus at Tacoa Falls College. So after walking around here and spending time at the lake, I, oh, I had to sit in this swing. Anytime I see a swing, I can't resist it. So I had to go over here and sit in this swing. And then once I got back to my van, I had not had breakfast. So I had to cook me some breakfast here beside the lake. But after the lake, my next stop was the falls. To get to the falls, you um, have to drive through the campus at Tacoa Falls College. And right now, with it being spring, everything is blooming and it's just a really pretty campus. All the students walking around out here enjoying the spring day. It was just a pleasure to ride through the campus to see all the beautiful grounds. You go to the Welcome Center here at the falls and you walk through the welcome center. You park and then walk through the welcome center. Once you get in the welcome center, you pay $2 to go out the back door at the welcome center and walk down the scenic path leading to the falls. You get on down, oh, they had decorated the inside and outside here at the Welcome Center. It looked like they were going to have a wedding. They had daffodils on the table. They had the tablecloths inside. So they had the um, Welcome Center decorated really pretty. But you go down this path behind the Welcome Center and then once you enter the gate, you're walking beside the creek or creek or river. I don't I don't think I noticed what the name of that was that the falls are on. So you walk, just a short little walk down this path, and there are lots of people out there enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, you round the corner, and there's the falls, just a really huge drop, the falls, and rocks all around on the bottom. You're not allowed to get in the water at the falls. I guess these falls are maintained by the college, and um, they make the rules, and that's why you have certain hours to go to the falls because you have to go through the welcome center to get to the falls. So I came down here and sat around on a bench and just enjoyed the falls. As I was getting ready to leave, walking back, I saw a big memorial plaque over to the side. So I didn't know what it was for and I walked over there to look at it and so I learned some history of the falls. Back in the 70s, there was a dam at the top of the falls that burst, and 40 acres of water flooded through here. And this memorial is to the 39 people that lost their lives when the dam burst. And then I walked back around because there was a plaque around there telling about the time that the, that the um dam burst at the top of the falls, and it tells about a book on the break in the falls. 
Dam Break in Georgia. So I thought I would look that book up. And I was thinking, back in the 70s, I was in my 20s with a couple of young children, but I don't remember this. But then I thought, well, you know, news wasn't as easily spread back in the 70s as it is now, where we just click on a button and read the news. So I don't remember this happening, but it, it's just interesting. Everywhere I go, it seems like I learn some history. So as I was just leaving from the falls, I learned about this dam break at Tacoa Falls that happened back in the 70s when I was busy doing life. And this bit of history was happening right up the road from where I lived. As I got ready to leave the falls, I knew that I had one more stop that I wanted to make in Tacoa. While researching things to do in Tacoa, I had found out about the Paul Anderson Memorial Park. Paul Anderson was born in Tacoa, Georgia. He spent his later life in Vidalia, Georgia, where I live. Back in the mid-50s, Paul Anderson became famous as the world's strongest man. Then he won some Olympian medals also in the 50s. But the way I know knew of Paul Anderson was that in the early 60s, he and his wife opened a youth home in Vidalia. After visiting several detention centers and prisons, Paul Anderson had a desire to open a home for wayward youth. So all my all my young years and all my adult life, I've known about the Paul Anderson Youth Home. Been by there many, many times. But I did not realize that Paul Anderson was born in Tacoa until I was researching places to go. So it was really special going over here and walking through this memorial park to Paul Anderson. Looking up his story, I've looked up his story many times um, because I've shared the story with people that would visit through Vidalia and I would be telling them about things that they could do, that they could go by the Paul Anderson Youth Home and look at it and read about Paul Anderson's life. So this concluded my visit to the three places that I wanted to go to in Tacoa. I was surprised. Lots of times we go through places and we don't realize that there's things in that place that we haven't seen. So since I've been traveling in my van around the country, I always research things to do in the places that I go through. So these are the interesting things that I found to do in Tacoa. I really enjoyed. I spent the whole day in Tacoa going to these things that I had passed by and never knew about.